Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Adventures with Andy. I'm in my painter's apron today because today we're going to be pouring some more paint. Now one of the things that Chad and I have run into when we've done paint pours is making sure that we have the right consistency. We watched some videos and we've done some trial and error but we're not quite sure we've got it right and as you saw when we did the paint pouring for the Halloween Mega Venture, my paint was too thick on that one, Chad's paint was too thin. So to get a better feel for what consistency the paint should be, we picked up these. These are pre-made, ready to use paint pour paints. Um, we're gonna start with one small square size canvas and I've got a little bathtub sink strainer and we're going to pour the paints over that and just get a feel for the consistency, how it pours when it's pre-mixed is supposed to be like it's supposed to be, and just try a new paint technique. If we end up with more paint in our cups than what we need, we've got more little square canvases, we've got some eight by tens, we've got a larger one, I don't know how big it is because it's no longer in the plastic. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's right. get this done, right? Let's do it. All right. Come on in and let's get to pouring some paint. The colors that we have to use are blue violet, chartreuse, rose gold, and silver. These are all by Deco Art, fluid art, ready to pour acrylic. Which do we think should be our background color? What do you think? about the blue violet. Okay. I'm just going to squirt some out here and just try to get a nice decent coat on here because I know that I didn't get enough on mine. And you think that's why it was too thick? No, I think I mixed mine too thick and I think I didn't get enough paint on the background. Mm -hmm for it to have good flow. So those two together, I didn't get a lot of movement. Now it happened to work out fine, mm -hmm. but you know. They turned out pretty good. Oh, they turned out awesome. I'm just getting inside real quick. And see, there's not a lot there. I got some places where I have a decent amount, but I definitely need to put some more on, I think. And of course, I touched it and got paint on myself, but that's okay. It matches my fingernails. Yeah, it wouldn't be painting if you didn't get paint on yourself, right? It wouldn't. That's why I have to have the apron. We picked up new cups so that we're not using paper cups. And I'm going to move this forward so that y'all can see me. What order do you think we should do this? I'm going to go down the line like that. All right. Uh, for those of you in internet land who cannot see this portion of the table, Chad has lined it up purple, rose gold, green, and silver. We'll see how that works. Yeah. Purple. Just shaking up the rose gold. And what do you think about that consistency compared to what we've been getting? It's definitely thicker than what I had. Yeah. For the Halloween pour. Um, but I didn't really see yours to compare. And it's, it kind of has the consistency of milk. That's what I kept saying when we were mixing, mm -hmm. you know, for the Halloween pour is it needs to be the consistency of milk. But it's one of those things where if you don't have milk in front of you at the moment and you're trying to eyeball it, you think maybe that's milk. And yet it is not. I think just to mix things up a little, I will now go backwards and color. She's a wild woman. Not really. Ah! 
I'm a klutzy woman is what I am. All right, one more time through with everything. I think this time I'm just gonna start back with the silver. I like silver and purple together. What can I say? And silver and chartreuse? Hmm? And silver and chartreuse? Another one of your faves? I like silver. Yeah. Look like a decent amount of paint? Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's definitely a decent amount of paint for this one small canvas that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Good? Okay. All right, now I'm gonna put this right here, and bear in mind, I've never done this kind of pour before. In, in all of your three previous? <laughs> yes, in all of my three previous pours, I've never done this kind of pour, but I've wanted to. And we're just gonna pour it over the strainer and just let it go. One thing I am noticing, mm -hmm. the separation is of the paints in the cup is maintaining itself a lot better than what we had. Yeah. Yeah. Us. Oh, that's definitely enough paint. Yeah. The canvas. Not really. No, not really. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to try pulling and stretching this and seeing what we get. And if we need to, I will do more paint. Looks kind of like a jellyfish. It does, doesn't it? It's kind of cool. It's definitely moving better, I think. Mm -hmm. But that's getting pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> It's not wanting to move in that corner, so I'm going to loosen it up. Yeah, just to get a little bit better flow there. That's the thing about paint pouring. You're gonna get messy. Come on. All right, what do you think? Looks pretty cool. Um, one thing I noticed is mm -hmm. we did seem to lose the silver and the rose gold again. The rose gold is a little more obvious in there, I think. Mm -hmm. But the silver, maybe when it dries, it'll look different. But the silver appears to be lost again. Okay, so let's do another canvas. Mm -hmm. And we do a different kind of, of pour. Mm -hmm. And... You want to limit the colors too? No, just do them in a different way mm -hmm. and see if we can bring out the silver and the rose gold better. Okay. 
So do you think the same color for the background or a different color for the background? Well, let's see if you're doing a lighter background. It'll bring out the colors more. Okay, so. Well, you have chartreuse. Chartreuse it is. And I'll get you a different spoon so that we don't mix purple in. Hey, thank you, sir. days I will remember to do the sides first. That day is not today. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's good for a start for the background. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want a different cup? No, I wasn't going to use a cup. Oh. I told you I was going to do a different. I didn't realize there were ways that were different from using a cup. Yeah. Learning something new every day. It's a good day when you learn something new. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to put this back down here in the middle again. And this time I'm going to start with silver. And I'm just going to squirt straight from the bottle. And then make a little rose gold. Some more silver. Some purple. Honey. What do you think next, Chad? Next. A little purple. Just a dash. Just a dash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rose gold. And then swirl, I think. And then swirl. Or do that. Oh, okay. And call it done there. What do you think? I'm thinking a little more sulfur at least. Okay. Just for a time <laughs> as it slowly spreads out. It should theoretically eventually, but that would take a very long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it myself. does not want to move on that side for anything. Come on, come on. There you go. And now bring it back to the mill as best I can, as much as I move. What do you think? Interesting. Definitely got the silver and the rose gold showing through. Some more, some more what? Like more paint? Obviously. Maybe it's too densely silver in the middle. I do. I really do. Make 
I'm not really doing any more of the rose call. Then finish with some bread. It's a flower. It See? Mm -hmm. oh, wow, it really moves now. Oh, no, there's a lot of liquid paint underneath it, too. <laughs> Surprised this isn't a thing. What? People watching the paint pour sloshing around. What do you mean you're surprised it isn't a thing? Like channels dedicated just to that. Honey? Yeah. Eight hours and somebody watching Jimmy fluids around. Okay, now I think it needs more sulfur. <laughs> it's too much purple now. Next on Andy Screws Up Art. The canvas is, you know, eight by eight, but I didn't realize it was 14 inches thick. <laughs> that wasn't on the brochure. Because we use four entire bottles of paint on this. That's pretty cool. What do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna stretch it out some. What do you think of that? It's pretty cool. Okay. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. All right, did you want to do one? Sure, I can do one. What color are you going to do the background on yours, Chad? I'm going to try silver. Should be interesting because I wonder if, I mean, I'm sure they thought of this, but the mica in here that gives it a silver color, I wonder if that'll mm -hmm. impact the flow any. I don't know, maybe. Okay, start with just a little bit so that I can get some around to the corners, right? Mm -hmm. The edges. The okay. silver is very pale. Yeah. Almost see through. It is. But we're just worried about it right now serving as a medium. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll start with that. Okay. Starting with some silver. I see. You can do a silver on silver. Well, this should be the last color to come out. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I see and what you're I'm doing. I'm going to go with green. Oops, and we're gonna get some green on there. Whoops. That's okay, it's art. Mm -hmm. I like the purple, please. <laughs> purple. Rose. 
is gold. A little bit more green in there, right? Mm -hmm. Silver. And then rose gold. Okay. So now I have to pick this up, flip it over, mm -hmm. and then Would flip you... everything over. My hands are mostly dry. Would you like me to sure. pick this up and put it on top for you? Sure. Count me in. Three, two, one, flip! Yeah, well, it's form suction here. Mm. Well, I was going to move it around, but it had other ideas. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool so far. Mm -hmm. And now you just have to tip it and stretch it. Mm -hmm. And it's part of making the art. Yeah. Two silver corners. I think they'll look good. This one, you can definitely see the metallics. We're giving it a really cool sheen. Okay, and now last, we need to try to pop our bubbles. And this is why we need to get a heat gun. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, so now we just have to let these sit and dry. And here's the finished paintings. We let them dry for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. We've not sealed them yet. We want to try sealing them with resin. We need to wait until summer to try the resin pouring, at least when it's going to consistently be warm outside. Otherwise, it can apparently cause dampling in the resin. Um, also, that means we'll be able to open the garage doors to make sure we have good ventilation. So we will maybe save that for a video later. Um, but for now, I mean, what do you think of the the finished artwork, Chad? I think they all turned out good. Yeah? Yeah. We've got, this is the first one that I did. And this is the one that Chad did. And this is the second one that I did where I just poured them one at a time over instead of putting them in a cup first. Which one's your favorite? I think this one over here is my favorite. I like the waves that you have going in there mm -hmm. and the feathering of yeah. the green into the purple yeah which one is your favorite yeah. and true to form my favorite one is the one that he did <laughs> seems to be a theme with us um which one's your least favorite i'm probably going to put this one down as my least favorite but looking at it in this light uh -huh. the rose gold actually comes through quite nicely mm -hmm. more so than i thought it would so it's not terrible. Yeah, I have to agree. This is my least favorite as well. Um, I'll have to play around with that technique some more, see what happens. I do think one thing that's really cool is that we do have some sections that where the paint is thicker, taller at least, than other sections. So it's got this really kind of cool embossed effect. I don't know how well you can see it, but with the light, you can kind of get a bit of a feel for it. That hopefully you can see there. And so that's kind of cool. Um, hopefully that sticks around once we finish it, um, seal it with the, the resin. It may not, the resins that we use, that we're going to use is self-leveling, so who knows what, if it will or not. But overall, what is your take on how this worked using the pre-made paints? I think they were slightly easier. Mm -hmm and we received more consistent results. Yeah, I, I definitely think that it worked better and it's going to help us have a better idea of how to mix the paints ourselves, the consistency we need to get them to, to have a good effect so that it's not too thin and just all muddies together and it 
it's not too thick and just sits there without moving. All in all, I, I had fun with it. I enjoyed it. It was a nice afternoon. Mm -hmm. And I hope you all enjoyed it too. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you've not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Turn on notifications so that you never miss any of the adventures that we do here. We do have a lot of things coming up and we hope to see you there. And we will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Say bye, Chad. Bye, everybody. Bye.